I'll try not to break it. I'll be nice. <laughs> all right. First of all, I have the title of my message, but uh, can I pray if it's okay for just a few for myself on this, you know, because I got a little bit of it done. I just want a little bit of confidence and courage knowing that, you know, I did my best to get this message right. Um, I got some of it to get on notes, so I'm going to just do a little quick prayer and we'll go from there. Heavenly Father, thank you for this time forth, and I ask you for your confidence just now to give me the guidance on what is best on this. And if I forget to say something, Lord, that just speak it to me and let me know whether I did right or wrong. Bless all of us here tonight. They are looking for something forward to. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Here we go, people. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, now. Somebody's got to smile. Amen. My title of my message is, if you guys want to know the real truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, I want to hear it loud, loud and loud and loud. And the reason why, because, you know, there's some things that I'm talking about me right now, that, you know, that I love it loud, okay? I'll explain why. Now, the question of it all is just how loud can we both, you and I, really be for Jesus Christ? Think about it. Is it preaching? Is it teaching? Playing? I mean, how loud can it be? You know, there's no uh, volume in the Word that says we can be 45, you know, on that level, or 155. But the word loud is in there. And the word shout is in there too, like says the said. Woohoo! Amen. Let's do it. All right. Amen. Everybody, people, I want you to get into Psalms 149, verse 1. Now, before I do say, I'm not going to, I'm just going to read part of it. Now, you got to hold up and what I'm going to do. Now, let me scare you off now. Psalms 149, verse 1. Man, man, oh my. How much is more people here? Yeah, it's too bad. What happened to everybody? That's all right. But first of all, I do want to say to all my Facebook friends, I hope you get a blessing. Uh, to all of my fans in Hollywood, Tinseltown, and to David Hernandez, the president of the Hollywood Tinseltown TV shows, times in the past, live love, live life, fun, with Mr. Me and Kenneth Barr ourselves. So we are on those clubs, people, so we hope you enjoy this video. Thank Mr. Kenneth Barr right there for doing this for me. And thank him too while you're at it on Facebook, okay? So I want you to give that big man a big hand. All right. So that's it. Come on. That's it. Good. Good. Got to keep her going. <laughs> All right. Somebody's crazy in this house. Only one. <laughs> man, it's one of the same side I've been called. Asked me if I was nuts or something. You know. Well, right, everybody, 49 verse 1. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit. Now, don't be scared. Now, this is pretty awesome. And I wish Possible Gary was here, but he's not here. He could really help me out a whole lot. But that's okay. I'll see you next Saturday, and so will you all. You'll enjoy him. He's an awesome man of God. He's from England. And he talks that England duck. Yes, he does. He's... From England, I get you not. That felt pretty cool meeting somebody from another from another country. You know, it's awesome, really awesome. Okay, people, now here we go. All right, now it says praise capital P, praise ye the Lord. Sing capital S unto the Lord a new song. Now, what does that say again, people? Now wait a minute. There you go. There you go. That's from uh, Otis of Animal House. All right. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to see you guys. Yeah. There you go. There's a proof in the pudding. 
had something right now. This is talking about to the people that are dancing, that are playing music. You know, don't get me wrong, the ministers have the right to shout too and dance and uh, skip and holler like uh, all of us guys do up there and do what they do. I seen some preacher boogie. Buddy, they just don't know when to quit. Okay, the song, okay, the saints, as I read the part of it again, it says, and is praise in the congregation of saints. So it was the saints. Amen. We, the people, the saints. Right. And you know there's people up out, out there that's men of God, women of God, they're saints too. Don't want to knock him out, you know, I'm sure they're praising God in our way. Here's what I wrote. As we give our Lord praise, He and His angels are shouting out loud. There you go, Glenda. Shout. Woo! Yeah. Shout out loud. Out in heaven. Oh, God. All right, God. So, I wrote this down again. They're having, they're all having a party just when we give Jesus the praise right here on earth. Imagine, boy, they're all shouting and having a good time. And I got a verse that goes along with that, if you guys want to read. It's a good one indeed. And my verse also goes to Psalms 33, verse 3. Let's go. Want to check it out? These are just, this is not just a, what do you call it, messages? It's a buckshot message. I don't know if anybody's heard of it. You go from here, you go from there. But you got to just make sure you have scripture in it to make sure everything makes sense, okay? So you don't want to throw people in a loophole, and you certainly don't want to catch a person off guard. Believe me, I'm pretty bad at doing that. All right. So this verse is awesome. I'm going to read it to you. Sing unto the Lord, and what again, a new song. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's there. Play skillfully. Skillfully can be a lot of things. Um, I was going to look it up in the dictionary and see what that meant. Skillfully can be the drums, the guitar, lead on the piano, Jean singing, doing what she does. Uh, this brother back there, Brother Bill, preaching. Brother Kim back there, preaching. And you ladies, we don't want to forget you. I know you're all doing something for the Lord, too. Skillfully, with a loud noise. All right. I know I have a lot of complaints from some churches. They think I'm a little too loud, a little obnoxious, but I hate to say this. The drums ain't got no volume. But, you know, you got to have respect for people in churches. Try not to be too loud. You try to do your best, but sometimes it gets a little frustrating. But it's just that loud noise that God somehow lets me do it. <laughs> and uh, I thank him for it. Preachers are loud too. Amen. I've heard them loud. I mean, they're real loud. They can scream and holler. You know, I'll tell you what, you know, they don't have to worry about wolves coming. But I mean, when they shout the Lord, all the wolves are gone. So that's their fault. But see, that's an example right there. Play skillfully. Which that means, you know, with a loud voice. In other words, God's saying, you're the instrument. We are his instrument. So all you got to do is just. Well, what do you got? A voice? Here's what it is. Okay. What is it all talking about? Question our voice. Step out in faith, our talent. You name it. I can't speak for you only. I can speak out for me. Yes, I understand we have we have to be in one accord. So, Neil, I can't speak out for you on how you play. Sister Gloria, I can't speak out on how you do what you do, or the rest of you. We all do what we got to do in Jesus' name. Brother Bill, yeah. you're up here doing what you do. Now, I'll give you the floor if you want to play. You know I will. I'll give Ken the floor if he wants to play. You know, Ken's already giving me the floor, but I'm too much that floor, I'm afraid I might take off with me. It's a joke, people. All right. So, skillfully. It's a great thing. Who gives us the skill? Jesus Christ himself. He's the way, the truth, and the life. He's a carpenter. He created wood. You know, I, I wish I could have been around way back in his times when he created a chair, when he created a desk, a table. Man, I wish I could have seen that. 
And I've seen some great carpenters. They can do some great things like these pews, the houses. I mean, uh, architects is what I call them. Ken is an architect, for example. You know, I'm drawing buildings, putting them on a piece of, putting them on a big paper there, showing everybody these designs, skillfully. I hope that makes pretty good sense. So, Jesus Christ, he's the man with the skillfully. He's with the loud noise. And I'll tell you what, you know, what he did on Calvary was great. He was loud, but he had a reason to be loud. Because he was letting, letting his father know that, you know, why have you forsaken me? You know, I'm sure he was loud. And I'm sure his father in heaven heard him. But deep down inside of it all, as what happened was, three days later, he rose from back from the grave. He rose. And all of a sudden, the proof of the pudding came by when all of a sudden he knocked on either Thomas's house or Matthew's house, one or the other, and all of a sudden, one of them wanted to see the nails on his hands. He said, is this proof enough, Thomas? So that's skillfully. I hope I say that right. 